it lit the whole tear up. I'm talking about that smell. It seemed like that smell could burn metal. It's so strong and so and so vicious. Getting to stories mm. from a cell. Stories from a cell. Once I got caught with them cell phones, they sent me to the hole in Greatest Full Prison. I was on the death row wing. They got wings like death row, whereas though it was on this one block where a lot of death row dudes be, but they got the holes. It's hot summertime. So I heard these two dudes beefing on the gate. What? Use a coward, mother, off your mother, all that type of stuff. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was real disrespectful. Mm -hmm. So the one guy was like, all right, mother, you going to pay? So the one dude kept talking. The other dude just backed down. Next thing you know, it was showers on the tier. So when the showers come on the tier, you got to walk past people's cells. Wait, wait, what can you talk about showers on the tier? Shop, meaning that's our tier for showers. It's different tiers. Oh, okay. Tier one, two, three. Oh, it's okay. different tiers. And they be oh, like, okay. you know, shower, like on your tier. And, on, oh, and, at the end of, and at the end of your tier, in this little cell, it's a shower cell. It's a cell you go in. They lock, you take your cuffs. You have your cuffs. Take the cuffs off. Once they lock the door, and you just put your hand through the, whatever. So I heard the one dude still talking to the gate. Yeah, you're a, you a high power cow. I kill you. You know about me. All that barking, right? So the boy got quiet. I said, okay. I said, all right, man, about time. I, I wish the other dude shut up. So when they go to take the one dude, the, the talking dude, yeah, mother, you can see me. Yeah, I'm spinning your face when I see you. And the dude that was talking all his monster gangster shit, he wasn't a professional hole guy. You know, it's dudes that be in the hole for years. I'm talking about years, 23 and 1. You get 23 hours inside of your cell, one hour out. The one hour out was to go into another cage in the yard. It's like a, it's like a dog cage. But it's like a human dog cage. You go in there, you walk back and forth like a dog would do. Then they take you out of the cage and take you back to your cell. And outside that, you only go in the shower. So this dude, he just come down the hole. He was only down there for 90 days. So the dude don't say nothing. He fall back. So now when he fall back, you know, because he told us about it, he throw a sheet over his cell because it's bars. So when you throw the sheet over, you can't see nothing. So the boy, they go back to get the boy that was barking. The boy that was barking cell was behind this guy's cell. So when they pulling him out, they cuff him, pull him out. All you hear is, <laughs> oh shit! The guard like mother. He sprayed him with chemical. Chemical warfare is this in prison. It's when a dude take a lotion bottle, one of the spray lotion bottles, bottles piss it, put shit, all type of stuff, rotten food, put all type of stuff in there, and let it sit in their cell. So if somebody get out of pocket because you can't reach people when you're in a hole. You can't reach him. So the, the way they gang wars through chemical warfare. Okay. And they call that chemical warfare. So he sprayed the garden. I'm talking about the smell of this. And I was like five cells up. It lit the whole tear up. I'm talking about that smell. It seemed like that smell could burn metal. It's so strong and so and so vicious. So when he sprayed him, I was that was my first time experiencing chemical warfare, just being in a hole. And it's just the mindset of like a person that would do that. Just you got to think about the, the mind of a person who can sit in a cell, shit, squeeze it in a bottle. Pissing it, humming it, put all type of food that's going to stink, eggs, all type of stuff in there, and spray you with it. Mm. Spray that boy all in his face and anything. That's unbelievable. Hit the guard, hit the guard shirt and all that. The guard ran, left the boy. Ah! So what I'm saying is, it's, it's, it's to the point where it's, though, it's like that chemical warfare in jail, this is the minds of people in prison. And sometimes these dudes be in the hole for years and then they'll max out, max their whole time out, and come right from the hole to the streets. Did anybody ever hit you with the chemical warfare? No, I stayed in line. I, I never, I never disrespected no uh, chemical war. So, no, so nobody war. ever hit you with piss and chip. I was a negotiator back there. I talk peace. We <laughs> should overcome. I, I wasn't, with, I wasn't doing that gate, that that, that gate gangster. So I would shit. like to think if if you get hit with chemical warfare, then that means you got hepatitis A and Z. You might got everything. You might got everything. Like you might ain't no telling what you got. Stussy dudes be trying to hit. He was trying to spray that boy on his uh, on his eyes and everything. He had. <laughs> Pop, pop, pop. That thing hit the side of his face and everything. Dude's like, oh shit. Oh, that's some nasty shit, man. Yeah, but that's that's the prison life, man. And it's, and it's a crazy, people is going crazy and then they're coming back to our communities and they mentally, mentally, mentally messed up. You see what I'm saying? So that's just the story from the cell. Hungry hemorrhoid. 